The enemy grows stronger. And you'd send more of us to die. Well, I'm not gonna stand around. Are you? You've done plenty, Darian. Um, hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Pillars of Eternity, the White March. I decided to come back to White March and this conversation came up as soon as I came into Stalwart. You approached the source of the commotion. I mean, we've been here before. We've never seen all these people. <laughs> so, yeah, actually, there's a lot of villagers, come to think of it. You push the source of the commotion and say it's wrong at villagers. They're arguing amongst themselves and hurling questions and demands at a lone figure perched above them. A young man stands on a spur of rock, his clenched fist held aloft. Steam rises from his wild hair and flushed face as he shouts to the gathering. Does it now? Can we tell? Mm -mm. Been a week since our people left these gates. A week since the iron flail took him. He places his outcropping. He paces it, the outcropping, his eyes burning. You see a few scattered nods in the crowd. Left these gates, so they left. Yet we wait here behind our sturdy new walls, hiding in our rebuilt homes. We've done nothing. He brings his fist into his palm with a sharp, sharp smack. The crowd erupts bristling with pointed fingers and pointed words. One woman steps forward, her eyes lock on the young man. Who are you to tell us how to defend our own? You ain't been here two months! Several of the others grunt and hoot. You feel a shift in the crowd like a changing tide. Where did you come from? Hey, an angry mob. See? We're not so far from home. Yep, Eater. And since I got here, I've been working alongside the rest of you. Don't start with that again. A handful of others not along with him, but they cringe and flinch as another villager joins the fray, shaking his finger at the young orator. Well, it was your idea to send our people to that damned fort in the first place. If it weren't for you and the other leeches that come up with you, we wouldn't be in this mess. The new accuser raises a chorus of furious cries. Darian raises his hands for calm, but the crowd but the crowd's wrath is snowballing. Should we continue listening? I want to know what's going on. Enough. Enough! Darian waves for calm, but the crowd has worked itself into a frenzy. He scans the assembly, beads of sweat rolling from his temples. His eyes fall on you, and he points. You want to boot all the outlanders from your town? Tell that to the hero of the White Forge! Hey, <laughs> it wasn't just me. This watcher deserves at least a little credit. <laughs> no one seems to notice either. <laughs> a dozen heads turn in your direction. The villagers recognize you, and their eyes widen with hope and reverence. Um, you said something about a fort and an iron flail. Relax, I'm here to help. Enough shouting. I want someone to calmly explain what's going on. Yeah. He nods. It's a small army from Rayad Saris. They call themselves the Iron Flail. Adarian's mention of the name, the rest of the crowd falls silent. The words trigger a sudden flashback to your dream of the mysterious army and the destruction of Kadanua. As the image fades, you see more you see once more the vision of a hundred eyes watching you and something just beyond. Showed up a few weeks after you opened the battery. Demanded we give him the White Forge. He avoids your gaze, scraping his boot against a rock. They're led by a Daric Sendomir. Comes from an old Rayad Saren family. The rumor has it the man's half mad with visions. Claims one drove him here to take the White Forge. In Zawa's experience, if one is only half mad with visions, the dose was too low. <laughs> God, I don't like you. They're not the only bloodsuckers around here. The villager glares up at Darien, but most of his followers, but most of his but most of his fellows are ignoring him by now. Darien raises his voice above the ruckus. Our crew at the battery locked their doors and told the Iron Flail to go back to Raid Saris. Instead, they built a fort in the middle of the wood. So we sent a committee to reason with them. But that was a week ago. And we haven't seen our people since. So they built a fort within two weeks? Um, I don't know. A little rumble ripples through the crowd. Arian hesitates. So we only gained 936 ex six experience? Hmm. That can only mean one thing. 
He grimaces at the, at the frightened, arguing crowd, drowns him out once more. He's right, you've got to defend what's yours. The White Forge isn't worth your lives, give it up. Can't you share the White Forge with the Radiceros? Hmm. Can't you share their White Forge? The villagers shout and squawk louder than ever. After what they did to our neighbors! And what did they do to your neighbors? Only thing they know how to do is start wars! Please, everyone! In the fragile silence that follows, the elders turn and look at Darian. Whatever our difference is, we've got to deal with the army at our gates. He looks back at you. Why is it up to me? You've done a lot for Stalwart already. Many of us wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. He breaks off, looking as if he'd like to stuff his words back into his mouth. After an easy pause, he swallows and continues. What I mean is, if anyone could deal with an army, it's you. I got my own business. Just show me where the fort is. Yeah, I'll help. The Iron Flail cleared a patch of forest north of Durgan's battery. Built their fort there. It'll be well guarded, so if you can get in without raising an alarm, you may have an easier time of it. The important thing is to deal with the commander. If you can get rid of him, the rest of the soldiers will scatter. I think I've dreamed, dreamt, dreamed, I think I've dreamed about this army. What exactly did you see? He watches you with wide, wandering eyes. They murmur ripples to the crowd. You came together and defended yourselves. The dream was unclear, and the stalwart was destroyed. The villagers gasp and exchange panicked whispers. Then let's just hope there's still time to prevent it. His voice is firm, but his face is ashen. Anyway, we've got our work cut out for us here. He gives the crowd a purposeful look. Grumbling, they start to disperse. While you're out, stop by the battery. Wangra and her team are still repairing the heavy cannons, but they've made a lot of progress elsewhere. Thought you might like to see how far it's come. Oh, sure, can I ask you something? I haven't been here long, but uh, I'll tell you what I can. So tell me about the Ar Iron Flail. They heard about the White Forge and came running, just like a lot of us did. Only difference is, they brought siege weapons. As best anyone can tell, they're from the border region near Little Bend, one of the poorest parts of the country. For Raid Saris, well, that's saying something. So what brought you to Stalwart? Work. I was a cobbler in New Yarma, but the city got more crowded every year. Rural types fleeing the legacy. A couple months ago, I heard Stalwart was offering land and opportunity to new settlers, so I figured I'd give it a go out here. I wouldn't want to live out here in all this cold. Mm -mm. For a while, folks seemed glad to have some new blood. But that changed as more and more of us came. There seems to be a lot of tension around town. <laughs> Before you open Durgan's battery, people tell me Stalwart barely had enough warm bodies to keep the town running. That's true. A bunch of us came when we heard about the White Forge. But now, uh, I think the old-timers would just as soon send us back. He begins ticking them off on his fingers. He begins ticking items we off. We take the best jobs. We don't pay our respects to Andra. We're overcrowding the town. I get it. Stalwart's changing. Same thing happened in New Yarma when folk moved in from the countryside. But they can't keep blaming us for everything that goes wrong out here. He sighs, and a steaming cloud escapes his lips. I'm just hoping they'll calm down once the Iron Flail is gone. Okay. So I guess this means I'm going to have to talk to everybody again, hmm? The White Forge has been restored thanks to your efforts in the White March. Investigate the fort. Um... Rest beyond the boundaries. I should depart the White and rest. Okay, seek information. In my dream, the army came from the White March. No stour. Perhaps the residents will know of it. Investigate the fort. A fort has been built in the east of Stour. It may house the army I seek. The fort was built by Raida Sayers with an interest in capturing Durgan's battery. Stour sent a group of delegates from among their residents to try and parley with the Raida Sayers, but the delegates never returned. I am sure they are dead. Okay. The Iron Flail was erected. The Iron Flail has erected. A port in the mountain pass to the northwest. Any answers as to the fate of the stalwart delegates will lie there. Okay. New quest. Ready the cannons? The heavy cannons at the top of the west tower of the Durgan's battery were once a powerful defense. They could be a valuable safeguard for the battery and me. 
Hmm. It would be worthwhile to check on them. These cannons could be a formidable weapon against the army from my vision. Okay. So I is Isis still here? Alright, where are we at? We're up here at the top. I want to come down here because we got that one quest still and I don't know if she if it's still viable. I imagine these are already taken care of. Yeah. That's just a villager. Then to Hammond's Emporium. Villager, villager. I wonder if anyone's back in here again. Well, it's still empty. It's strange. You would think some people would have came in here and taken it over. Hmm. Okay. All right. Isis, I think she was... I thought she was over here somewhere before. She was over next to this, these fish. The girl's a fish. Oh, how did I forget? Because it was hidden. Villager. Lazies. What am I to do with all of these? Who's this? This is somebody new. A well-built Dwarvian woman stands before you, one hand on her head, and the other holding a few sheets of paper. Three, three complaints of blights in white stone hollow. And who are these? And who are these people's mongrels faithful? Great, another pack of religious zealots. It's like they're popping up out of the snow these days. She glances up at you. Oh, sorry, Corinne, just a little preoccupied. Things may have quieted down some with the ogres lately, but there's been no sh shortage of new trouble or work for those interested. Just saying. Hmm. You mentioned blights? The Terror of Whitestone Hollow is a grand blight that turned up after the avalanche. Real disaster. That. A great big heap of snow right on top of one of our main trade routes. We can't start fixing the roads until we get the blights out of there. Can't exactly ask you to bring back this thing's head, but word is the Terror's last victim was a caravan master. Turns out the fellow always wore a certain brooch. Figure it's somewhere in that monstrosity's belly. Bring me the brooch, and I'll take it as proof of your... Proof you handled the blight. Sound fair? Hmm, okay, and who are Ma Ma Mangra's faithful? Bandits and horse thieves, far as I can tell, led by a woman named... Broadwit? Problem is, their little group keeps growing, and they've started tearing through some of the small villages. They were last spotted by Syrian Falls, and rumor is they're headed in our direction. Stalwart's just getting its bearings. We can't afford this kind of trouble. Bring me Broadwit's head, and I'll see what little Richard for it. Okay, the Terror of the Whitestone Hollow. So I imagine these are going to be new locations. Oh, uh, Searing Falls, yeah, because I don't remember any of those. Alright, so where's Isis? Yeah, I thought I got that one. Okay. I thought she was outside the fishery, which is right here. Hmm. Mm -mm. Maybe I did lose that because I couldn't see her in time. What's this place? I don't remember. That that's a new place. Oh. Hammond's Emporium has been added. Well, let's take a look in there and see what's going on. Would I interest you in a new blade? 
Okay, who are these people? We got a villager. It's Hammond. We know it's gonna be stealing. Yeah. Um, you can see your own reflection in these shields. This looks like stalwart from the road to Herowood. In this home, haven't eaten anything but fish and wigs. Show us what happens when you're around here. Cheap perfume lying the bottom shelf. An army at the gates. Is Stalwart usually this bad? <laughs> yeah, I just say that, but usually we are. Hmm. I think I got the wrong one. Eh? Who was her? Okay. Sure. Are so, you gonna see anything here? No, okay. He's identical, but Ed Darren with figurines are all of equally poor quality. Alright, so let's talk to him. The shopkeeper's clothes seem a little nicer, if not terribly warm, compared to what you've seen around Stalwart. His hair is immaculately copped, and his rosy cheeks look like they've barely been touched by the mountain wind. Welcome, welcome. I've got arms and armor, all, all top quality. Or perhaps you'd like to see potions. Um, I never did find a piece of that helm. Always, oh, so I'm, I'm sour positive three. Always a pleasure to meet a respectable company out here anyway. Show me whichever sell. Anything interesting. I know what I'm looking for. Um, Vera something, not beetle. Vessel flesh, Vera, there we are, Vera Bell. I need these to enchant for vessels. Yes, we're gonna buy those. Um, tapping supplies, okay. Broken grappling hook, I've got plenty of those. Scroll of Valor. Do we have our scroll, scroll of Revival? Scroll of Valor. No cap, ripple sponge. Nope, we don't need any of that stuff either. Mm, I don't think there's anything that we need this way. Nope, okay. Um, trade. All right, so now I can do hers. I didn't have enough to do for... Vessel. So I needed more of this. Mm -hmm. The only one that had Vessel on there was Aloth, and he wasn't even close to, um, yeah. So that's why I'm enchanting now for Vessel. Vessel. All right, there we go. So it wasn't nothing special here. Just somewhere to sell. But we have a wagon though for that too, right? All right, let's see here. That was a villager. And it's Emporium. All right, so let's go here. Where is she at? Mila? Where have you got to this time? Oh, oh, this is somebody new. Okay. Oh, darn it. This woman looks at you like she's used to hearing bad news. She shakes her head and holds up her hands before you can even begin. Look, you can tell Hammond that I ain't seen Mela all day. And besides, he ought to keep a better eye on his shop if, we, if he don't want little ones poking around. She folds her arms and plants her feet wide. Maylee, I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Oh, I, I didn't recognize you. You're the one who... Oh, who opened up the battery, aren't you? Rosie looks both embarrassed and nervous as she stumbles over her words. How would we know what, who she is? It's just that she... My daughter, Myla. I mean, she spends time over at Hammond's tent. Gets underfoot. She shrugs, exhausted and exasperated. Figured he sent someone over to complain about her again. Did you? But you ain't hear about her, huh? 
You don't know where your own child is? She backs away like she's been slapped. I didn't say that. Unable to look you in the eyes, her gaze darts to the ground, her cheeks flushed with embarrassment. But it's hard keeping track of her, more with all the commotion around her lately. Mmm, hard to keep track of her. What kind of mother loses her own child? I agree with that, too, very much. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure she'll turn up. Yeah, I think I was right the first time. You don't know where your child is. Hmm. Do you have any idea where Myla might be? She's been out for quite a while now. That's nothing new. She chews her lip, wondering. Still, I can't help but worry that she's gone and gotten herself into some trouble. If you could keep an eye out, eye or two open for her while you're in town, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll make sure she's not in any trouble. Okay, thank you. Everyone is so busy these days with the mines and the forge opening back up again. It's kind of you to help. Do I have some questions? Um, is there some place Myla likes to run off to? She often takes off to Hamilton Emporium, she shrugs. Has a problem with looking at things instead of touching them. Hammond's been on my back the past few days to keep her away. Might her father know where she's gone? Please don't worry him. He's in enough trouble at his job already. She smiles weakly. Truly, all of us all of us appreciate what you did, opening the battery back up. Folks like my log log logar are making good money patching up all the damage out front. Please don't set his mind spinning about where Myla is. Is Myla's father, his mother's father, if, he's in tr if she's in trouble, it, he doesn't like to hide it from him. Yeah. And I'm her mother. A wrinkle of annoyance creases her forehead. I know you're trying to help, but I really think it's best to not dis distract Logar while he's working. Sure. Wild Myla. Hmm. Always been getting herself in trouble around Stower lately. Rosa mentioned that her husband Maga is stationed at Durgan's Battery. She told me not to mention. Hmm. Well, let's go back over to the Emporium since I just came from there. They didn't have that quest before. Oh, wrong one. Oh, where'd my. <laughs> All right, let's see if he's got anything to say. Villager, villager, um, one of my scout. Yeah. I think she's hiding somewhere. She's not. There's a little girl, Myla, that comes around here. I heard she's been causing trouble for you. She's out of control. Though I suppose one can hardly blame her. What, what with the way her own mother is always screaming at her. He leans across the counter and speaks to you in a conspiratorial whisper. I mean, where do you think the little rascal learns the kind of behavior, hmm? He tilts his head. I agree, they learn it from their parents. Only person I've ever seen give her a proper talking to is that wild woman who loiters by the hut just south of here. Asuka, that's her name. Okay. I don't know what it was about, but the girl's eyes were this big. He drives his hands into circles as large as goose eggs. But I suppose someone's got to do it. I told the girl's mother I'd be speaking with Mayor... Oh, we got a new mayor. Mayor Tarples, if I caught her picking around my shop again. So I guess it worked. Sure. Hammond hasn't seen Mother, but he saw Asuka scolding her the other day. Asuka's usually by the yurt just south of Hammond's shop. The yurt? The yurt? And that's when we just got those um, quests from. The bounties. The yurt. Old leaf brandy? Isn't that a tad expensive for a mercenary's wages? It is if you pay in silver. No I paid in steel. That's the most senseless act of... I traded a very nice dagger for it. What kind of bloodthirsty lunatic do you think I am? One with exquisite taste. Okay. Here she is. Oh, I guess she does have a spa she does have something different down here. Okay. Um, I heard you scolded Rose's girl. 
Aska cocks her head, thinking for a moment, then she begins laughing. You know what that girl did? Snatched a whole chicken from the gift's rest, rest bra. Told her I'd better not catch her thieving again, but I was trying my damnedest not to laugh. Funny kid. She wipes a tear from the corner of her eye. But it's got to be rough on her, you know. Her old man's working at the battery, and he's one abs he's one absent away from getting fired again. Wow. Blaze, the only reason Nagar still has a job is because Wiggins is softy beneath all that soot. But Myla, she showed up at the battery the other day and nearly got him sacked. Since then, I've seen her keeping to herself. That's a lot of time at the temple, come to think of it. Things may have quieted it down some with the orders lately, but there's been no sure. Okay, yep. At the temple? They mentioned that Myla doesn't seem to have a lot of guidance. Her father, Lagard's work at Dugan's Battery and has had trouble keeping a job. Myla got in trouble recently for visiting him, and she's been hanging around the village temple ever since. Hmm. Well, we were just at the temple. Well, we're like backtracking everything here. I'm trying to find Isa. This is the temple, right? Oh, this is the fishery. We didn't go in here, did we? Or is this still empty? Oh, this was the fishery. Oh, okay. Yeah, so who's doing? No one's doing the fishery now. Well, that seems weird. I thought someone would have taken it over. All right. So I thought we were at the temple. The temple's over here. Maybe we didn't go to the temple. See if we'd been in the temple the right time. We probably would have seen her right off the bat. There she is. I found her. I hope you've had some luck. And do take care with that device. It has a few rather delicate components. Um... I didn't find any ore deposits, but I did find this. What? So it works? What a day! But why these gems? I didn't think the device would be able to pick up inert Audra. Fascinating. I have to study this further, but all the same, it worked! At last, a breakthrough! With that Audra to work from, I can refine the enchantments. We'll be digging up iron, gold, Audra, all of it! Um... I'm keeping the gems. Give her the gems. Happy to help. This is going to change everything. Oh, and I won't leave you empty-handed, of course. Here, I had this set aside for supplies, but I don't think I'll be staying in Stalwart much longer. Okay, so I got 800 copper. I won't forget all you've done for me. They'll hear about this back home, I promise you. Who knows? Perhaps they'll name the next battery after you. Hmm. There, I got that one done. Sacred Instruments is done. Okay. All right, let's go to the temple. I knew she was hanging around down here to the south. I just got the wrong place. Bad me, bad me. Okay, now there are people here. Oh, they turned it into a forge. Okay. Seems like it anyway. Flame and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Oh, come on! Stupid sword! Can't talk, okay? This won't stop there. me. There! Done! I don't want any of that, but I want that ingot! I need that ingot to, um,. Oh, I can take this. Mela's drawing. This lightly singed piece of paper has a charcoal drawing of the on the front. Examine. Oh. Okay, so she's going to... Hmm. That looks like water, maybe? Mountains, water, a pass. I found one of Maya's drawings at the temple. It depicts children playing near a cave. I should ask someone who knows Maya well to see if they know more about this place. Was that a cave, really? Because <laughs> you could have fooled me. Um, 
This warped breastplate is still warm from the forge. Okay, so we got several named people here. Okay, now you're just pissing me off. She slams her forge hammer down on the unfinished blade with a loud clank. Straighten out, damn you. Temper, Mosca. The older priest glares at Mosca reproachfully. Sorry, master. It just slipped out. She takes a deep breath and releases it slowly. I'm looking for Mela. Sorry, haven't seen her. Talk to Master In Igma. He'll know better than me. I'd better get back to it before Master Igma gets annoyed with me. So what's wrong with the sword? Where to begin? She gestures at the rapidly cooling lump of iron on her anvil. For one, I can't manage to shape the metal no matter how hard I try. Master Igna says, Envision a sword, so I'm envisioning really, really hard. I think I'm ending up with a club, maybe a mace if I'm lucky, but no sword. If my work doesn't improve soon, they'll kick me out of the temple. Can't be a priest if you're not a proper smith, unless you help me. Masca glances around. Well, I'm not a blacksmith. Oh, that's not the kind of help I'm asking for. I snuck a peek in Master Igma's notebook and came across a ritual that can enchant a forge hammer to boost smithing skill. That's exactly the kind of edge I need. I've already completed the first part of the ritual, crafting the hammer. Unfortunately, the next two parts require travel to the deer wood, and there's no way Master Igma will let me leave anytime soon. Isn't crafting using a magical forge hammer unethical? I'm not trying to show anyone up. I just want to appear competent. You know, buy myself time until I'm actually competent. Hmm. Why did you decide to become an acolyte? It's a family tradition, one I've managed to keep going. She glares at the unfinished sword on her anvil. Barely. Yeah, I'll complete the forge hammer ritual for you. That's great. She hands you a forge hammer. That hammer actually turned out all right. The first place you'll need to go is the Shrine of Abaddon in Crucible Keep. That's in the first Fires District in Defiance Bay. Wow, I'm going to be hopping all over the place. I've never been there myself. Just place the hammer on the shrine and it should get blessed or something. After that, you'll need to find the Shrine of Magra in Magra's Fort. Fort, it's not far from Defiance Bay. To the north of the city, I think. Do the same thing with the hammer at that shrine, then head back here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be hopping all over iron and flame. That's the hammer at the shrine. Well, I've been to all these places. So if you did this first before you really did all of your um, the original, then, um, then I suppose some of this wouldn't be accessible to you. I mean, you would have to get, you know, do certain things to get into those areas. They're trying to have it on this moon and shiny. Okay, so let's talk to Egma. It's actually Ingram. Not that you and smiles in recognition. Ah, oh, the the kind, the the kindler. Ah, oh, the kindler, kindler, or whatever of the White Forge. We owe you a great debt for the industry and faith you've restored here. Welcome to the Temple of Abaddon. Do you know where this is? He looks at the crumpled paper de delicately, careful not to smudge the charcoal. After a moment of contemplation, he purses his lips. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, to be honest. Neither am I. <laughs> he blinks and turns the drawing to hold her right side up. That makes more sense, I think. A cave in some trees? No, those must be the alder stones out by Whitstone. Hollow. I think there's a cave not far from there. Hmm. I heard Ross's girl Myra sometimes comes in here. He smiles kindly. She usually sits there by the forge and draws with some of the charcoal nubs. Poor girl's lonely. The only other children in town are a few years older, and the others that would have been her age were all hollowbone. Hollowborn. He shakes his head. Yeah, I never thought about the children that are that are able that are born that are proper. They wouldn't have any friends. So what do you do here? 
I lead the temple and guide the acolytes in matters both spiritual and mundane. He indicates the forge and ambles, worshippers of other gods, pray or meditate. We Abedinians venerate our god through the act of smithing. Our doors are always open and our forge always alight. How may I help you? This used to be a temple to Andra. He tilts his head to his side, back when this was a dying, forgotten place. But the clerics who tended it left, as is customary of their goddess, the throngs who have since come to stalwart sought a more practical deity. Yeah. Should I tell him about her? Hmm. No, not at this time. So, the place to somewhere in White Stone Hollow. Okay. So, come on. 